Minute Maid time! Oh, it's Minute Maid time! <laughs> Let's make something great out of old rubbish. Look at that! It's a fantastic rubbish picture that's actually quite great. Now, for this, you'll need some sticky back plastic, some old sweet wrappers, and some bits of old crisp wrappers that have been cut up. Really, you can use bits of anything. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just a minute? No way! Really? Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Start the clock! Let's go! The first thing to do is to peel the backing off your sticky back plastic. Now, you'll find this easier to do if you put sticky tape on the corners like that. Now, let's start making our rubbish design. Just lay down the bits of your wrappers and ripped up crisp packets. Now, you can make any design you want. That's the beauty of this idea. Just put the bits down there. It's rubbish! It's not rubbish. It's looking quite good, actually. Halfway! Halfway already? Oh. There we go. Now, you have to go as quickly as you can. Hurry up! Great. I stick that down and then just pick up these bits here. It's done! Ooh, what a great design! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Thank you! Rubbish art that looks rather great. And why not try making this into a bunch of flowers? Nice! And you could even cover your drawing books with it. Rubbish art that looks great! Why don't you give it a go? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. First, peel the backing off some sticky back plastic. You'll find this easier to do if you put sticky tape on the corners like this. Then stick sweet wrappers and bits of ripped up crisp packets all over the sticky backed plastic. Remove the sticky tape and your rubbish picture will look really good. Try making it in a minute! It's Minute Maid time. Here's what we're going to make today. Set sail for the high seas in your very own cork boat. Look at it. It's fantastic. And it even floats. Now, to make your own cork boat, you will need some glue, a hole punch, some scissors, a straw, some sticky tape, of course, some corks, a plastic lid, and a triangle of coloured paper. Now, do you think it's possible to make a cork boat? Just a minute? No way! Really? Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to make it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Stop the clock! Let's go! The first thing to do is to get our scissors and very carefully make one, two, three slits in the straw. Then get your lid and place the straw onto the lid using those slits that you made. There we go. A bit of tape there and a bit of tape on there. There we go. That's there. Right, now get our triangle and make a hole at the bottom like that and a hole at the top like that. Now, carefully, let's feed through the sail like that on one side and then feed it through on the top. Go on, in you go. There we go. Nearly done. Now let's get our corks and line them up in a row. Get some glue. Put some glue on the bottom of the boat. There we go. And stick it ooh, onto the corks. There, it's a cork boat. We're ready to set sail. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Thank you. Whew, that was close. And if you've got more than a minute, you could try a different coloured boat. A lovely red one. And how about adding an extra sail? Great. 
great! A cork boat made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cut three slits at the end of a straw. Stick the straw onto the top of the lid with sticky tape. Make two holes in the paper triangle and push the triangle onto the straw like this. Then hold the corks together and glue the lid onto them. Now your cork boat's ready to set sail. Try making it in a minute. Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! Wow! Right, here's what we're making today. It's a mouse finger puppet! Look at him! And he's eating cheese! Again. Oh, to make a mouse finger puppet, you will need two pieces of mousy coloured card. One that's half a circle shape and one that's a small rectangle. You'll also need some scissors, some white stickers, and if you haven't got stickers, don't worry, you can cut some circles of white paper. We also need a pipe cleaner, a pen, and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this mouse finger puppet in just a minute? No way! Really? Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. OK, let's make it in a minute! Stop the Let's go! The first thing to do is to get our half circle shape and roll it into a cone shape and stick it with some tape. Now, if this is a bit fiddly, you can ask an adult to help you. Then, make a pinch in the nose and very carefully, with your scissors, make a slit in the top like that. Now, get the rectangle piece of paper, fold it in half and very, very carefully cut an ear shape out. There we go. Be careful! Oh. I'm being careful, don't worry. Then these ears should just pop in the slit like that. There we go. Right, now he needs two eyes. I'm going to put one eye there and one eye on the other side there. There we go, now he needs a tail. Hurry up! Right, let's stick the tail in the back there. There we go. The tail's in. And there you go! You've got yourself a little mouse puppet! Time! Phew! That was close! And if you've got more than a minute, you could add black dots for eyes. Like that. And like that. And you can add different coloured bits of paper to make a different type of mouse. Hello! Hello! Finger mouse puppets made in a minute! Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll a half circle into a cone shape and stick it with tape. Snip a slit into it like this. Then fold a rectangle of card. Cut out an ear shape. Unfold the ears and slot them into the slit. Stick on two sticky dots for eyes and a pipe cleaner tail and you've got a mouse finger puppet. Try making it in a minute! Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on! Now, let's turn a pencil into a pencil pet! Look at him! To make a pencil pet, you will need some feathers. <coughs> Bless you. Also, you'll need a pencil, a pipe cleaner, some scissors, some glue and some yellow sponge. And also some googly eyes, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> There are my googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make a pencil pet in just a minute? <laughs> really? 
let's find out. I think I'm going to have to move very, very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Right, get two feathers and hold them together at the top of the pencil, like that. And then wrap round your pipe cleaner. Here we go, round and round and round and round and round and round! There we go, great. OK, now it's time for the eyes. Where are they? They're in my bag, I just got them from the shop. Put some glue on them and stick on the eyes. Hurry up! Right, there's one eye. There's two eyes. There we go. And now we need to get our scissors and very carefully cut out a small triangle of yellow sponge. Be very careful because scissors are sharp. Be careful! There we go. This is going to be our beak. So if I put some glue on it, I can stick it on our pencil pet. There we go. It's done. I've finished. Only just. Thanks, Toki. Oh, that was a bit close, though, wasn't it? But if you've got more than a minute, you could try other types of pencil pen. <laughs> Fantastic. Pencil pets made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take your two feathers and put them at the top of your pencil. Then take the pipe cleaner and wrap it around the pencil and the feathers. Now it's time to glue on the googly eyes. Stick them onto the pipe cleaner and then cut out a triangular beak shape from the foam. Stick down your beak and your pencil pet is finished! <laughs> Why don't you try making it in a minute? <laughs> Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Ooh, here's what we're going to make today. It's a pop-up card, which is a card with a surprise in the middle. It's a funny clown. Now, to make a pop-up card, you will need a pen, some card, a strip of paper and some glue. Now, do you think it's possible to make a pop-up card <laughs> in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. I'll have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Start the car! Let's go! First thing to do is get our card and fold that in half and then start drawing our clown. Circle for his head and then a big nose in the middle. Big red nose. Some eyes. Hurry up! I'm going as fast as I can. There we go. Let's give him a hat. And some hair. And some ears as well. There we go. Right, now, get the strip of paper and start folding. Over one way and then over the other way. Back and forth, a bit like a fan. There we go. Like that, like that. It's a bit fiddly, this bit. There we go. Right, now if I get some glue, put some glue on that side and stick it down there. And then put some glue on that side. I am done! Time! Thanks, Toki. What an unusual way of making a great card. And if you've got more than a minute, why not try other designs, like this cupcake? Oh, it looks delicious, doesn't it? With a cherry on top. Oh, how about a ballerina? With a great paper skirt. Pop-up cards made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold your card in half and draw a picture. Take a strip of paper and fold it lots of times, a bit like a fan. Glue along both edges of the fan shape and stick it next to the fold in the card like this. Close the card and press it together to make a pop-up card. 
Try making it in a minute. <laughs> Minute Mag Time! It's Minute Mag Time! <laughs> right, this is what we're going to make today. A Splat Monster Pen Pal! Yeah, corny pencils. It's a pencil's best friend. Now, to make a Splat Monster Pen Pal, you will need a pencil, some paints and some air drying clay, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> Here's my air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make a Splat Monster pen pal like this in a minute? No way! Really? Well, let's find out. I'll have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to make it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, first thing to do is to get some air drying clay and roll it. That's right, I said roll it into a ball. Well, a kind of ball shape, anyway. Then stick it down and squidge. Squidge it into the shape you want. You can make any shape you like. I'm going to do that shape. It's kind of like a blobby triangle shape. Then get another bit of clay. Not much this time. And roll into two eyes. There we go. Two eyes. There we go. Right, and stick those on. Faster! 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 <laughs> I'm going as quick as I can. I'm just putting the eyes on. I'm not doing badly, you know. Right, there are the eyes. And get your pencil and put a dot there and a dot there. There, the eyes are looking good. And then draw in a mouth like that. A little bit there, a little bit there. And the mouth is where the pencil goes. There you go, just in time. I did it. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I told you I would. And when it's dry, you could paint it different colours and even try different designs too. Lovely. Got any more pencils? Wow! A Splat Monster Pen Pal made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. To make your Splat Monster Pen Pal, take some air drying clay and roll it into the shape you want. Then take two smaller pieces of clay and roll them to make eyes. Take a pencil and add dots in the eyes and a mouth shape. Before finally pushing a pencil in place, let it dry and paint your Splat Monster any colour you like. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! It's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. Some straw pan pipes. Have a look at what they can do. <gasps> It's your very own homemade musical instrument. And to make them, you will need, of course, some straws. Mm, tasty. A pair of scissors and a rectangle shaped piece of corrugated cardboard. Now, do you think we can make the straw pan pipes in just a minute? Not a chance. Really? I do. But let's find out. I'm going to have to go very, very quickly. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Get a move on! Let's go! Right, let's get our piece of cardboard and start adding our straws. Now push the straws into the holes in the corrugated cardboard. Like that. And like this. And like this. Hurry up! I'm going as quick as I can. This is a bit fiddly, but it's worth it in the end. Halfway! Halfway already? Oh, I'm running out of time. I need two straws to go, though. Right, now we turn our pan pipes upside down like that and carefully, with our scissors, cut across the straws. Like that, and like that, and like that! 
I've done it! Only just... Just in time! Now let's test out our pan pipes. <gasps> Great! And if you've got more than a minute, you could make a longer one for a different noise. <gasps> Ooh. And if you want, you can decorate your straw pan pipes too. Wow! Straw pan pipes made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a rectangular piece of corrugated cardboard and some straws. Then push each straw into the holes on the edge of the cardboard. When you've filled up all the holes, take your scissors and cut diagonally upwards like this. Now you're ready to play your straw pan pipes. Try making it in a minute. Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. It's a pom-pom acrobat. Look at him. He's ready for action. And to make him, you'll need two straws. Mm, lovely. Some glue, a pencil, a pipe cleaner, a pom-pom and two googly eyes, which you can get from an arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. There are my googly eyes. I'll put them over here for safekeeping. There, perfect. Now, do you think it's possible to make this pom-pom acrobat in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to make it at the end. Stop the car! Let's go! Get your pom-pom and pull it apart a little bit in the middle. Then get your pipe cleaner and put some glue in the middle like that. And then push the two together and squidge so they're stuck in. Oh, there we go. Bend the pipe cleaner upwards like that. Then grab a pencil and twirl the end of the pipe cleaner around the pencil like that. And then do the same on the other side. This fixes our acrobat perfectly. Now, let's move him to the side, get our two straws and push those together. That's the frame. Let's take our acrobat off and start feeding him through the straw. But of course, he needs some eyes. So let's give him some eyes. There's one. Stick one. And a second eye coming up right. Now, I've done it! And there is my pom-pom acrobat! I'm... Thanks, Tucky. Now, here comes the fun part. Go, acrobat, go! Woo! Look at that! Fantastic! And if you've got more than a minute, you could try different colours. Like these ones here. They're different shapes too, like this ballerina with two pom-poms and this monkey. Pom-pom acrobats made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Pull the top of the pom-pom apart and stick the pipe cleaner into the gap. Then bend the pipe cleaner like this. Now bend both ends of the pipe cleaner around the pencil to make loops. Next, take one of the straws and squeeze the end of it onto the other straw. Thread the straws through the loops on the pipe cleaner. Then glue on the eyes and leave it to dry. Now your pom-pom acrobat is ready for action. Try making it in a minute. Minute make time. It's minute make time. Come on. <laughs> Here's what we're making today. It's a scouring pad butterfly. Look at her. 
Isn't she beautiful? Now, to make this butterfly, you will need a straw. <coughs> tasty. Some scissors. Three different bits of scouring pad. It doesn't matter what colour they are, but you do need one piece to be a rectangle shape. And you'll need some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in one minute? What a chance! Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Start the clock! Let's go! Get your rectangle-shaped piece of scouring pad, fold it in half, and then very carefully with your scissors, cut out a butterfly shape like this. Be careful! I'm being careful, don't worry. Right, around we go. Now be careful because scissors are sharp. Okay, let's open it up and there's our butterfly shape. Now if we get our straw, we'll make a snip in the top like this. Now this is to make the antennae. Put those apart like that and then stick it in place with some tape. Now let's give this butterfly some colour. Let's make some triangles and a few squares as well. Let's stick them on. And you've got yourself a butterfly! Time! Thanks, Toki. That was close. But if you've got more than a minute, you could stick all of your pieces down with glue. And you could even try making different coloured butterflies and even some bugs. And why not try making different bugs, like a ladybird or a tropical bug? A scouring pad straw butterfly made in a minute. Why don't you give it a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold the scouring pad in half. Carefully cut out a wing shape. Cut a snip down the straw for the butterfly's antennae. Stick the straw onto the wing shape. And stick on different coloured shapes to your scouring pad butterfly. Try making it in a minute. <laughs> Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're making today. It's a cake case jellyfish. Look at him there in all his glory with his long flowing tentacles. Now, to make a cake case jellyfish, you will need a rectangle shaped piece of paper, some glue, a cake case. Now, that's normally used for making cakes, some scissors, a pen, some different coloured strips of tissue paper, some sticky tape and some white stickers. Now, don't worry if you haven't got any white stickers. You can always draw circles on white paper instead and cut them out. Now, do you think we can make a cake case jellyfish <gasps> in just a minute? No way! You must be joking! I'm not joking, Toki. Making is a serious business. But I'm going to have to be very quick. Don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Start the clock! Let's go! Let's get our rectangle of paper, fold it in half, and then with our scissors, very carefully, cut out a tongue shape. There we go. Round and round. Now remember to be careful, because scissors are sharp. When you open it up, it looks like that. Great! Let's get some glue and stick it there. That's where our cake case is going to go. On it goes. And now fold the cake case in half, like that. Pinch the folded ends and fold it back, like that, to make a mouth. Hello! Hello! Great! Let's get some stickers and stick them on. They're going to be the eyes. There's one. OK. There's another eye. There. Right. Let's turn him over and put on his tentacles. There we go. And put on some dots for eyes. And there you've got a jellyfish! Time! That was close, but it was worth it. Look, you can use your jellyfish as a puppet. Hello, Mr Jellyfish. Hello, Mr Maker. Fantastic. And you can try other coloured tissue paper too. A cake case jellyfish made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Oh, 
Good idea. Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of card in half. Cut out an oval body shape. Stick the cake case in the middle of the body. Then fold it in half and pinch the folded end tight and push the open end back to make a mouth. Stick on white stickers and add black dots for eyes. Then stick strips of coloured tissue paper along the back of your cake case jellyfish for tentacles. Try making it in a minute! Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> now, today we're going to make a snake pot for all your bits and pieces. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like my snakeskin jacket. Yes, and to make the snake pot, you will need some paints and a pencil and some air drying clay, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> Here's my air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make a snake pot in just a minute? Not a chance! Hmm, let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it all at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Start the clock! Right, get a lump of clay and start rolling it into a long sausage shape. Be as quick as you can, but as careful as you can too, because you don't want the clay to break. Hurry up! I'm going as quick as I can. Don't put me off, I'm on a roll. There we go. Right, this looks quite good. Now start twirling around your sausage shape like that, and then building it up into a pot shape like this. There we go. Building it around. Here we go, round and round it goes. Here we go. Here we go, and then turn it round like that and turn up the head and give it a squidge. Then get two other little bits, put them on the front like that. There are the eyes, and get a pencil and make eyes. I did it! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Just made it! And when it's hard and you've got more than a minute, you can paint it. Look at this one here. It's green with white and red spots, but you can do any colour you want. Look, it's got yellow stripes. Ooh, how about a yellow one? Great! This one's got pink spots too. A snake pot made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Take a piece of clay and roll it into a long sausage shape. Coil it round until you make a pot shape, like this. Bend the end of it to make a head, and then with two other small pieces of clay, make the eyes. Dot them with a pencil and leave your snake pot to dry. Try making it in a minute! <laughs> Minute make time! Oh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. Let's turn a piece of kitchen roll into a great piece of art. Look at it, it's beautiful. Now to make this you'll need a piece of kitchen roll and some bowls of food colouring. I've got three different colours here. Now you can get some food colouring from a supermarket. Do you think it's possible to make this great piece of art in just a minute. You must be joking. I'm not joking. Let's find out. I'll have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Right, let's get our kitchen roll and fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. And then let's move this corner up to that corner to make a triangle. We can do that again to make a smaller triangle. 
Now, here comes the fun part. We dip one corner into the green, like that, just shake off the rest, and then dip this other corner into the red. Oh, nice. And then last but not least, let's dip the blue there. There we go. And now if we open it up very carefully, here it comes. Oh, very nice indeed. Look, it's a great work of art. Beautiful. Stop the clock. Thanks, Toki, and with time to spare too. Now I'm going to leave this one to dry. This is such a great idea, you can try any colours you want. There's a blue, green and yellow one. And this one's a different pattern with pink and orange. Look, I've gone kitchen roll bonkers. And all of these were made in a minute. Why don't you give it a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of kitchen roll in half and then half again. Then fold it into a triangle and then fold it again into a smaller triangle. Dip each corner into a different coloured food colouring. Unfold it and leave your kitchen roll art to dry. Try making it in a minute. Let's make a torch projector. I'll show you what I mean. Let's turn the lights down. Now, torch projectors are great for shining spooky patterns in the dark, like this spider. The spider's appeared as if from nowhere. Ooh. Let's turn the lights back up. Right, to make a torch projector, you will need a crisp tube with a lid, some black paper, a glue stick, a pencil, some scissors, and of course, a torch. Now, do you think it's possible to make a torch projector in just a minute? No way! Really? I think it is. Let's find out. OK, I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Here we go, let's make it in a minute! Right, let's get our rectangle of black paper and fold it in half. Now, with our pencil, let's draw a spider shape. Like that, like that. Here we go. Now, let's get our scissors. Be very careful with this bit because scissors are sharp. It's time to cut out the spider shape. Now, this is quite fiddly, so you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. Yes, this is tricky to do. Be careful! I'm being careful, don't worry. There's just one leg to go. Hurry up! Here we go. You don't want to cut a leg off. Round, and there's our spider shape. Now, let's get our glue. Stick with glue on the lid, like that. And if you put our torch inside, put it on there, and it's done! I did it! Yes! Time. You're not wrong. Whew. Let's check it works. Let's turn the lights down. There we go. Now let's have a look. Where's my spider? There he is. Look, it's a spooky spider. But you don't have to just make a spooky spider. There are lots of shapes you could do, like a spooky bat. Now, if you don't like spooky bats, you could do a star. Oh, that's great! Now, let's turn the lights back up. If you've got more than a minute, you can decorate your torch projectors like this. Torch projectors made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of card in half and then draw half a shape on it.
carefully cut around the lines and then open it out and look! It's a full shape! Stick the shape onto the crisp tube lid and with the torch turned on inside the tube, your projector works! Try making it in a minute! <laughs> This is what we're going to make today. Alien eyes. Funny eyes you can wear on your head. Take me to the <coughs> Only joking. Yeah. Now, to make these alien eyes, you will need two cake cases from your kitchen, like that, two long pipe cleaners, a pen, a plastic hairband. Do you think it suits me? <coughs> no? oh, OK. And some sticky tape. Now, do you think we can make these alien eyes in a minute? No way! Really? Oh. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it all at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, OK, let's get the plastic hairband first and a pipe cleaner. Now, this bit's a bit fiddly. Watch, you twist once and twist again so it's nice and secure. And then do the same with the other pipe cleaner. Here we go, twist and twist again so it's nice and secure. Right, move back to the side and get the cake cases. These are going to be eyes, so we need to draw on black dots. Here we go. There's one black dot there. And there's two black dots. Now, do these look like eyes? Do they? Do they? Of course they do. Right, let's stick them on then. My granny could go quicker. I'm going as quick as I can. Keep your feathers on. Right. A bit of tape there. And a bit of tape there. Flip it over. And let's stick them down. There's one. And there's two. There we go. I've done it. Only just. That was close. Phew. And if you've got more than a minute, you can colour in the eyes any colour you like. The weirder, the better. Ooh. Or how about trying three eyes? Hilarious alien eyes made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Get a pipe cleaner and twist the ends of it around the hairband on one side. Do the same on the other side and draw two eyes on the cake cases. Stick the cake cases onto the ends of the pipe cleaners and you've got alien eyes. Why don't you try to make it in a minute? Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! Come on! <laughs> right, here's what we're going to make today. It's a pebble dog! Yes, man's best friend made out of pebbles! Now, to make a pebble dog, you need two pebbles. A big one and a small one. You'll also need some glue, a pen and some white stickers. Now, don't worry, if you haven't got these stickers, you could draw circles on white paper and cut them out. You'll also need a rectangle-shaped piece of brown paper and some scissors. Now, do you think it's possible to make a pebble dog in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Start the car! Let's go! Let's first get our piece of brown paper, fold it in half, and then very carefully with our scissors, let's cut out an ear shape like this. There we go, round and round. There, be careful. And when that's done, you can open it up. Let's get our big pebble and put some glue on the back. There we go, like that. And then you can stick that down to the ears. Ah, he's taking shape now. Let's give him some eyes. Going to use the white stickers for these. There's one eye. And there's 
two eyes. Let's add some dots for the eyes. There's one and there's two. I need some more glue now on our small pebble. There. There we go. That's on. And I can just finish him off with my pen. Whoop. Whoop. Boop, 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 boop. A pebble dog! Time! Just made it! Phew! When it's dry and you've got more than a minute, you could paint his nose. Look, he looks great. And there are so many different shapes and sizes you can try, like this. This dog's grey with a brown nose. This one's got a black ring around its eye. And this dog's got big floppy ears. A pebble dog made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold a piece of paper in half. Cut out an ear shape. Then glue the pebble to the middle of the unfolded ears. Stick on white stickers for eyes. And add two black dots in the middle. Stick on a pebble for the nose. And draw a mouth on your pebble dog. Try making it in a minute. Minute make time! Ooh, it's minute make time! <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. It's a handy pot that holds a lot. A lot of what? Whatever you want, really. It's really handy and it looks great. Look at its amazing torn out nighttime scene. Now, to make this pot, you'll need a pot. An empty one, really, like this. You'll also need some sticky tape, some glue, lots of different coloured stickers, including some stars, and some sheets of coloured paper. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, the first thing to do is to get our black bit of paper and start tearing any shape you like, up and down, up and down. Now, this is going to make the torn out nighttime scene. There we go, get rid of that bit there, move that down. It doesn't matter what shape you make, that's the beauty of this idea. Boy, Granny could go quicker. I'm going as quick as I can, Toki. There we go. Right, now get the other bit of coloured paper and some glue and stick this. There we go, along there, and stick it on to our red, like that. Hurry up! Now let's get some stickers on. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And how about some stars in the sky? There's one and two there. Right, now let's get this and put it around our tub, like that, and stick it with some tape. Done! Just in time! And when you've finished, it can hold whatever you want. Like pencils, some paintbrushes, and even a plant. And if you've got more than a minute, why not try some other torn out designs? Like a seaside. Or even a countryside one. It's a pot that holds a lot, made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Tear some black paper to make a nighttime scene. Put on some glue and then stick it to the red paper. Add some stickers for windows and stars. Then stick it around your handy pot like this. Try making it in a minute. Here's what we're going to make today. An elephant peg holder. A helpful elephant who can hold your photos and other important things. Now, to make an elephant peg holder, you will need 
some glue, a peg, a pen, a pair of scissors, some card, and two white stickers. Now, if you haven't got white stickers, don't worry. You could always draw circles on white paper and cut them out. Yeah. Now, do you think it's possible to make this elephant peg holder in just a minute? Not a chance. Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Let's go. Get your card and draw an arch shape like that. And two ears. And then also a trunk shape there. Now get your scissors and very carefully cut these shapes out. There's one bit there. And now cut out the body. Be careful! I'm going to be very careful, Toki. Don't worry. Halfway! Around we go. Right, there's his body. Now, if I glue my peg... Quicker! Stick it onto the elephant and then glue the trunk there. And then put the stickers on for eyes. I've just about done it! Just in time! Thank you! Oh, that was close, wasn't it? But if you've got more than a minute, you can add some extra details to your elephant, like dots for eyes, some wrinkles for his trunk, and even some toes. And your helpful elephant is great for holding photos. Look at that handsome chap. A helpful elephant peg holder made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. First, draw an elephant's head and ears. Don't forget the trunk. Then cut out what you've drawn. And stick on a peg. Stick the trunk to the peg and two stickers for eyes and your elephant peg holder is ready. Try making it in a minute. Today, we're going to be making a bug in a jar. Now, a bug in a jar is a bug with googly eyes in his very own home. Now, to make a bug in a jar, you'll need a small plastic jar with a lid, like that, some scissors, a pen, and some modelling clay. Whoa, whoa! OK. And, of course, some white card. Not forgetting the white card. Now, do you think it's possible to make a bug in a jar in just a minute? No way! Really? Let's find out. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Deep breath. <gasps> right, get your fun clay and start rolling a ball. Rolling, that's it, rolling. There we go. Make it into any shape you like. I'm going to make it into... This shape. There we go. There. There's his body. Now get some white card and start drawing the eyes. There's one eye. And there's the second eye. There we go. Right. Now, very carefully, with your scissors, cut those eye shapes out. There we go. Be careful! I'm going to be very careful, Toki. Don't worry. You don't need to go as quick as this, because scissors are sharp, remember? That's it. Around we go. And when your eyes are cut out, stick them in to your bug. Like that. Whoa! And then stick him in your jar. I've done it! Only just. Just in time. Phew! And if you've got more than a minute, you could even give your bug some wool hair. Looking good. Or you could try a different shape bug. Just let your imagination run wild. You can try using different coloured clay and any number of eyes you like. 
It's your very own pet bug in a jar, made in a minute. Just. Now here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Mould the modelling clay into the shape that you want your bug to be. Draw eyes onto your piece of card. Carefully cut out the eyes and stick them into the bug. And then put the bug in the jar and you're finished! Why don't you try making it in a minute? Minute make time! Here's what we're going to make today. It's a pet bug, hello, that moves. Look at that! Wow! Now, to make this pet bug, you will need some glue, some scissors, two different coloured pieces of card, and a pom pom. Ooh. We'll also need some googly eyes and two small magnets, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Right, I'm going to leave my googly eyes and my magnets here. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? You must be joking! Really? Let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, get your pom-pom and one of the magnets and put some glue on top there. There we go. And this will stick our pom-pom in place. Now it's time to stick on his googly eyes. There we go, get lots of glue on there. There's one eye. Let's give him another eye. Lots of glue again. There we go, Mr Bug. You've got two eyes. There's our bug. Look at him. Hello. Great. Now, let's make a racetrack with one of our bits of paper. Turn it over there. Fold it in half and cut down the middle very, very carefully. Because remember, scissors are sharp. Be careful! I'm being careful, Toki, don't worry. There we go. Right, and now put some glue on this. Stick it onto this bit of card. And we're done! Stop the clock! Thanks, Toki. That was close. Now for the magic bit. If you get the other magnet and put it underneath your bug, like that, you can move him! Wow, look at him go! And if you've got more than a minute, why not make more bugs? Great! And why don't you race them against each other? Go on, red bug! Go blue! Go on, red! Quicker blue! Wow, what a great race! A magnetic bug made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Glue the pom-pom onto one of the magnets. Stick on two googly eyes. Fold a piece of card in half and cut it down the middle. Stick one half onto another piece of card like this. Then put the other magnet underneath the card, the bug on top, and your pom-pom friend is ready for action. Try making it in a minute. It's Minute Make Time! <laughs> Here's what we're making today. It's a spoon bug. And it's called a spoon bug because it's made with a spoon. Yes, for this you will need the spoon. Look at it. It's a plastic one. Now, you'll also need some cotton buds, a pair of scissors and some air drying clay, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. Go 
Cross it. Here's my air drying clay. Look at that. Right, I'll leave that there for later. Now, do you think it's possible to make this spoon bug in just one minute? You must be joking. I must be joking. You must be joking. I think we can do it. Now, I'm going to have to move very, very quickly. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Let's go. Get a lump of clay and roll it into a ball. That's it. Whoa. Now let's roll it on the table as well. There, that's looking quite good. Now let's get our plastic spoon and start squidging the clay into the spoon. Like that. There. Now is that all stuck in? Let's have a check. Yeah, it's all in there. Great. OK, let's leave that down there. Now let's get our three cotton buds and very, very carefully, with your scissors, cut them in half. There we go. There. Great. Now, take those scissors off. There we go. And stick the cotton buds into the clay. There's number three. There. I'm just pushing those cuttings in there, leaving the soft ends out. There we go. I'm done. Finished. It's not finished. Yes, I am actually, Toki. This one just needs to dry. And when it's dry, it'll look like this. And you can flip out your spoon bug and turn him over. And there he is, a spoon bug. And when you've got more than a minute, you can paint it any colour you like. Have a look at this lot. There's our ladybird. There's a jungle bug over there. And this one's got extra legs. Ooh, spoon bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll a small piece of air drying clay into a ball. Press the clay into your spoon like this. Then cut the cotton buds in half and push the cut ends into the clay. Leave it to dry and you can decorate your spoon bugs however you like. Try making it in a minute!